Canadian soldier flicking the cigarette and being like, yeah. Ukrainian, whatever. <laughs> and then like, you pulled the battle map, and you're like, wait, so Russia secured the entire Donbass land bridge uh, from from the Donbass, uh, the land bridge into Crimea, which was their which was their stated goal. So so I feel like every story coming out saying we are winning and let's go, and I'm like, Russia wanted to control access to Crimea. It's their access to the Mediterranean, through the Black Sea, through the Bosphorus, into the Mediterranean, because they want to, that's how they, they ship a lot of their oil and gas. And what, what the threat was- It's not even just that, dude. It's like this, check this out. America, we fucking, remember who did this? Remember how this happened? I want America to remember how this fucking happened. You guys called a bluff and didn't think Putin was gonna throw Russians, throw a bunch of Russians at at NATO and at Ukraine and basically the United States. Like whatever our administration was thinking was like, I kind of didn't think that he was gonna invade either. Like when he surrounded Ukraine, I was like, oh, he just wants to get people back to the table and then talk Minsk again. You guys, that's all Russia really wanted to do. But Ukraine feeling emboldened by, you know, having America behind them and this and that. And now America is in chaos here. And then the dollar, it's like, we want to protect the dollar. But it seems like you guys want to do everything in, the, in, in your power to destroy the dollar. So it's like, how smart is our politicians and, and how smart is our intelligence agency? And it kind of looks like intelligence agencies and politicians are fucking not working together that intelligence agencies are doing some shit out there to be like see look to get the politicians to do the paper it's like fuck what the fuck we're king quagmire dude that's what america is we're the king of quagmire dude all we do is fucking cause chaos and then here and away and then just go like we didn't think it was gonna happen this way yeah you guys don't think that's what it is it's like you guys aren't fucking thinking you didn't think we put sanctions on russia and i was like look guys this is not gonna work the sanctions that you guys are putting on russia it's gonna affect them in ways that it's gonna fucking in, in right now the dark right now it will be like giving someone a black eye and then saying you won the fight it's like oh we gave him a black eye we won the fight and it's like no the fight's not over look and then it's starting to realize it's like oh wow okay that really didn't have the effect that we wanted so my point is is this it's like remember please americans remember who was in power when all this shit kicked off. Remember, who was in power when the Saudis threw up two, two middle fingers, not just at America, but they got so fed up, they're throwing up two middle fingers to the whole fucking world, all right? Remember, who was in power when Africa started forming unions and then sitting at the table with Russia? And remember, and if America, if we called a bluff, on Russia, and Russia said, fuck it, you guys are making us do this, because that's really what happened. What do you think China, what do you think China? What do you think China, dude, don't be fucking stupid. Don't be, I'm not saying be scared. I'm not saying be scared. I'm saying don't be stupid, don't be stupid. The Chinese are fucking, can't wait. I'm, I'm gonna say this, dude, I don't know them from the inside. I don't know China from the inside. I don't know fucking, uh, I don't know if she like me. I don't know if she like me not. But I do know this that the Chinese are itching to throw fucking bodies. That's it, that's all I'm gonna say. The Chinese right now are itching to take fucking Chinese bodies in bundles and throw them like grenades, like suicide bombers and shit. They're just gonna take, uh, oh, here's uh, 50,000 Chinese people, let's just throw them, throw them, <laughs> kamikaze, throw them like a Molotov at fucking the world. They don't give a fuck, they don't give a fuck. I hope the Chinese people realize this to an extent. I'm just saying, like, too many people, that's exactly what uh, Mao Zedong said. And look now, all these years later. So my point is this, look, don't fucking, we can't back out of Ukraine now because look what happens if America, your dollar's fucked, your dollar's fucked. Remember who was in power that did this, the inflation, the, the, the war, the fucking, the, nobody likes us, um, the fucking stupidity, just straight stupidity. America is a fucking, somebody riding a fucking, doesn't even know how to ride a bicycle, she, that's how fucking stupid America is. I'm not talking about any people in specific. I'm saying wherever we wanna take this nation, it almost seems like it's so short-term minded. It's so short-term minded that it, they have to be controlled by people 
who only give a fuck about money. They only give a fuck about money. But those people are the same people that are destroying the American dollar. You've destroyed it, dude. It's gotten to a point where it's like, you guys won't have this dollar. Everybody wants to protect the dollar. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm predicting, in my opinion, that within like the next 20 years, if this continues, there will be no American dollar. We'll have no fucking choice but to be on something like the Amero. And the Amero is the beginning of a digital currency that everybody's so scared of. It's like, well, what if you're so fucking scared of it? Why are you making it happen? If Americans are so scared of losing the dollar, don't want a, 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 a union currency in the Americas, and definitely don't want this whatever could be the mark of the beast that all these religious people are talking about, then why are you guys supporting what the fuck is going on and making people want to fucking attack us? You're just, that's what you're doing. You're making people want to attack us. You're making the world fed the fuck up. So, Ukraine, we can't back out of that shit. If we back out of Ukraine now, if we back out and we stop giving them supplies, do you know what that's going to say to the rest of the people? China will probably go immediately right into Taiwan. So, yeah, America, it's sorry, too bad, so sad. We have to follow this Ukraine thing all the way through. We have to. There's no choice. We have to continue to make as many weapons as possible. We have to fill up our oil reserves. And we have to pretend that we kicked off World War III. That's what we have to pretend. We have to pretend that America just kicked off World War III. That's what we have to pretend. Was it us? I don't think it was America per se. Obviously, we don't want World War III. But I think that the selfish behaviors of our politicians did this shit. And I don't give a fuck who rolls their eyes at me right now. Do you know? I well, All I do for work is I push a fucking stick. I push a stick. And even the people who fucking push sticks with me and even the people who fucking open up boxes, my, look, I, 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 work is work, but it's not like we're fucking, you know, curing cancer and shit. Those fucking people roll their eyes at me, dude. So, uh, if, if I, homeless people look at me and they go, Pff. You know, and I'm used to that shit. I don't fucking don't give a fuck that you motherfuckers think I'm crazy. Uh, but am I lying? That's all you gotta ask. Am I fucking lying? Zizou.